which drug is often prescribed to manage neuropathic pain in conditions like diabetic neuropathy a pregabalin b levodopa c danepazil d sumatriptan and the correct answer is a pregabalin pregabalin is prescribed to manage neuropathic pain in conditions like diabetic neuropathy because it helps to reduce the abnormal electrical activity in the brain and nerves it binds to specific calcium channels in nerve cells which decreases the release of certain neurotransmitters that signal pain by stabilizing nerve activity pregabalin effectively alleviates the burning tingling and stabbing pain associated with neuropathy which condition is characterized by recurrent episodes of excessive electrical activity in the brain leading to seizures a parkinson's disease b epilepsy c multiple sclerosis d huntington's disease and the correct answer is b epilepsy epilepsy is the condition characterized by recurrent episodes of excessive electrical activity in the brain leading to seizures these seizures can vary in type and intensity ranging from brief lapses in attention to full body convulsions Which medication is an anticonvulsant that is also used to prevent migraines? A. Gabapentin B. Topiramate C. Phenytoin D. Carbamazepine And the correct answer is B. Topiramate Topiramate is used to prevent migraines because it stabilizes the electrical activity in the brain and reduces the likelihood of migraine attacks it works as an anticonvulsant by blocking specific neurotransmitters and ion channels which helps to calm overactive nerve cells that can trigger migraines additionally topiramate can decrease the release of neurotransmitters involved in pain perception further contributing to its effectiveness in migraine prevention Which medication is commonly prescribed to treat neuropathic pain and is also an anticonvulsant? A. Baclofen B. Gabapentin C. Levodopa D. Danepazil And the correct answer is B. Gabapentin Gabapentin is commonly prescribed for neuropathic pain because it helps reduce abnormal nerve signals that cause pain. It was originally developed as an anticonvulsant used to control seizures by stabilizing electrical activity in the brain. Though its exact mechanism isn't fully understood, it effectively treats both nerve pain and seizures by calming overactive nerves. Which ion is primarily responsible for initiating an action potential? A. Potassium B. Calcium C. Sodium D. Chloride And the correct answer is C. Sodium The sodium ion Na plus is primarily responsible for initiating an action potential. When a neuron receives a strong enough stimulus, voltage gated sodium channels open allowing sodium to rush into the cell this influx of positively charged ions rapidly depolarizes the cell membrane triggering the action potential and causing the nerve signal to propagate The facial nerve is responsible for which of the following functions A vision 
B. Hearing C. Facial expression D. Swallowing And the correct answer is C. Facial expression The facial nerve controls the muscles in the face that allow us to make expressions like smiling, frowning or raising our eyebrows. It sends signals from the brain to these muscles telling them when to move. If the facial nerve is damaged, it can affect a person's ability to make facial expressions. Which imaging technique is most commonly used to visualize brain activity by detecting changes in blood flow? A. CT scan B. MRI C. FMRI D. PET scan And the correct answer is C. FMRI The most commonly used imaging technique to visualize brain activity by detecting changes in blood flow is FMRI. FMRI stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging. FMRI measures activity by detecting changes in blood oxygen levels, which increases in active brain areas. This allows scientists to see which parts of the brain are involved in different tasks or responses. Which type of glial cells acts as the primary immune defense in the central nervous system? A. Astrocytes B. Oligodendrocytes C. Microglia D. Schwann cells And the correct answer is C. Microglia Microglia is a type of glial cell in the central nervous system. They act as the primary immune defense by detecting and responding to infections, injury or other damage in the brain and spinal cord. When activated, microglia can engulf harmful debris, release chemicals to fight infections and help repair damaged tissue. What is the primary function of the autonomic nervous system? A. Controlling voluntary muscle movements B. Regulating involuntary bodily functions C. Processing sensory information D. Transmitting signals to the brain And the correct answer is B. Regulating involuntary bodily functions the primary function of the autonomic nervous system is to regulate involuntary bodily functions like heart rate, digestion and breathing. The autonomic nervous system does this by automatically sending signals to organs and glands to either activate or relax based on the body's needs. Which of the following neurotransmitters is involved in the regulation of mood, appetite and sleep? A. Glutamate B. Dopamine C. Serotonin D. Acetylcholine And the correct answer is C. Serotonin The neurotransmitter involved in regulating mood, appetite and sleep is serotonin. It helps stabilize mood and feelings of well-being, influences hunger and digestion, and plays a key role in the sleep-wake cycle. Low levels of serotonin are often associated with depression, anxiety and sleep disorders. Which neurotransmitter is most commonly associated with inhibitory synapses in the central nervous system? A. Glutamate B. Dopamine C. Serotonin D. GABA 
and the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.